welcome everyone. Chris Wilkie here, Nina Cook. She's over there. She's smiling. She's waving. Actually, I don't know if she's smiling. She has a mask <laughs> on. She's laughing, so she must be smiling. Uh, welcome to Studebaker West. It's our last video walkthrough of the day. Uh, you've probably heard my spiel. If you've watched anything else, we'll love you to run it down for you. So, number one, masks are required within the halls. In the common spaces, hallways, all that jazz. So make sure to bring a mask. You will be issued two of these when you arrive, free from Ball State University. Yeah, so you get those two. Nina actually has one of them on. They kind of look cool. I mean, if you're trying to, no, just kidding. Um, they have a Ball State logo on them, so that's how you know they're from us. Um, you have to have those on to move in. Move in. There's two parts this year. You have an item drop off, you have a move in day. Item drop off is literally get your stuff out of the car, put it into the room, move along. That's what you're looking at doing there. It's not set up the room, get everything pretty. You got 90 minutes with your appointment. Those are scheduled through our housing application portal. You can do that now. Appointments start next week. Move in day, you can actually move in, bring your stuff in. If you didn't, if you have other stuff from home and you can actually set up the room that day. Those are the August 19th and August 20th. Premium plan comes first, standard plan comes that next day. You're welcome to move in after that, but you can't move in any earlier and stay the night for those. When either of those days, you can only bring two people to assist you and yourself, so total of three people total. And any time you're within our halls, only three people can be in a residence hall room at a given time, unless you're in a suite capacity kind of room in some of our other halls. Um, that includes yourself and your roommate, so that would mean one visitor. That visitor cannot stay overnight. Overnight, midnight, visitors have to be out. We do not allow overnight visitors for this COVID-related year. Testing. In order to live within our residence halls, you would have received an email from President Murns yesterday, and you've received another one from us with a little more information today. You must do one of the following. Number one, you must quarantine for 14 days. This means staying in an individual room of your house, not interacting with other people of that family. You can interact with your family, but as long as they're also quarantined within that space, not leaving to go to the store, restaurants, anything like that, no trips. You have self-quarantine, you have to tell us you're doing that, that allows you to come in the halls. Or you can provide a negative COVID test within seven days of moving into the halls. That test has to be taken seven days before you move in. It does not have, you cannot be now and late, and then you have to do it later. Earliest you can do that is August 12th if you're a premium plan student, uh, August 13th if you're a standard plan student. If you don't do one of those two things, we will not allow you into the halls. Got to try to make sure we mitigate as much risk as we possibly can. You're one of the steps for us to do that. We're taking steps throughout to kind of help out as well. Am I missing anything, Nina, on my typical announcements before we get started? You've covered it all. Other things about the hall. Today's video walkthrough is going to be a lot shorter than our previous years. Partly because some of our uh, amenities aren't going to be operational to start. So, fitness rooms. We're still deciding exactly how those will look most likely. They will be limited to two people at a time. You have to go and use those. If you're a third person, you're asked to wait until one person leaves. Dining, I'm not gonna tell you how dining works because dining can do that. But this hall does have a micro cafe here, so you can use that with your swipes. Front desk is gonna have limited options of what we can do here. So it's gonna be very reduced, and they're there to help and be the security, but not all of the checkout equipment that we used to do. Computer labs are gonna be limited to two or three computers per lab maximum. It's gonna be based upon the square footage of that lab, and there'll be a printer in those there as well. Recreation rooms, such as like ping pong, pool tables is gonna be closed. Kitchenettes will be closed. Laundry rooms will be operational. Uh, there's an app you can use to pay for your laundry. There will be limited coins. We're on a national corn, corn shortage, so we recommend using the app. Um, I think those are, loungers will be have limited capacities. Those will be posted on the door so you know how many people are allowed to go in there at any given time. If they are full, we ask you to find another space within the halls. Another point we want to make sure to recommend is limit the amount of items you're bringing to live within the halls. You need to keep the space tidy, you need to keep it clean, so limit that, bring as little as possible in order to enjoy your time here on campus. Before we move into the halls, any questions? No questions so far. Okay. Chief Baker West. Welcome. There's actually four different halls here, Palmer Davidson and Painter Whitcraft. They're based upon different halls on different floors. There's a separate desk, I believe, on the sixth floor. Um, it's been a while since I've been in this building. But you have a separate desk for those. You have different living learning communities here. 
Um, those have been changing. We'll keep everything up to date on the website. Maker spaces for those living learning communities will vary in what will be available or not. So there's that. Also, Ball State ID cards should be coming to you in the mail. You'll need these when you do the second part of the move in, not the drop off. They will be part of the process here. So when you get here, there'll be a QR code on your door. We'll show you where you'll need to scan that, go through the process. It'll activate this ID card. You'll be able to do things such as this ID card has a prox reader in it and unlocks doors. Now, big thing is Stu Baker West. Stu Baker West has nine, ten fours? Nine or ten? I think it's ten. Ten. So close. Um, we asked if you were on the first three, four floors, use the stairs. Limited number of people will be allowed in the elevators at any given time. So the more people that use the stairs get that exercise. Uh, Nina and I have gotten our workouts. I've done like five flights of stairs already. Um, please use the stairs if possible. Um, if you're doing the elevators, there'll be limited numbers. Those will be posted within the elevators and outside as well. Um, this walkthrough is for Studebaker West only. Um, we're not able to do Studebaker East at this time because students currently live there. That's um, nine floors. I was right. Oh, it basement. is? Cool. Um, yes, yeah, so Studebaker East. We're not doing that video walkthrough. All players already Those are posted on the Ball State Housing website and the Ball State Housing Facebook page, along with the YouTube page. You can hop on there and you can check anything out. This video walkthrough is more focused on the rooms and the bathrooms than any of the other spaces. We've already showed you those. All, if you want to see everything, hop over to the Ball State Facebook page and watch last year's. Um, this year, we have so many we're trying to get done. My phone is at 30, probably less than that percent now. We're trying to get you the important information since you have it, um, and then we can make the changes as we go. But if you have questions, post them below. Nina will be reading them off. She'll try to answer some. I'll try to answer some. Let's go see a few rooms. Oh, yes. The connection must have went out while we were on the elevator, but we're just not able to do Studebaker East um, because students live there. So for safety, we're not going to go in there. Also, um, the kitchenettes will not be usable at this time. Water fountains, we're still waiting to see if these will be operational or not. Last we've heard, they will be operational, but I just don't know, so I don't want to tell you that for sure. Show you what a men's bathroom looks like here. Women's is going to be pretty much the same. They're going to vary by floor. Some may have a men's and a women's. Some may have men, women, or women, women. It just depends on that floor. Restrooms will be cleaned once a day, sanitized once a day. Uh, times will be posted here. IDs cards will be needed to get in. You have lovely toilets. I know everybody likes to see what a toilet looks like. Then you have showers. Here's some light over here, Nina. Okay. Showers are sold. Then you have a shower curtain back there. And then the shower unit's actually back there. You have sinks. We do ask you to try to schedule when you're going to be using the shower. We know it's a community style bathroom, it's hard to do. But try to do it when there's not as many people here, just to help mitigate that risk again. They want to know about toaster ovens. You can. Um, okay. I don't Pretty much the rule of thumb is if it can catch something on fire, we don't want it. That's pretty much the rule of thumb. Um, open burning elements are the big ones. So I know you can burn micro popcorn in the microwave if we get it. If there's open burning elements, that's uh, one we don't want. Other thing, if you have something that releases steam, we get Instapots a lot. Mm. It will actually set these off. These are ionization and what's the other one? Uh, there's another type of smoke detectors. These are both. It actually detects uh, frequencies in the air and oh, get the light. Ah -ha. So you can't have those because you'll set off the smoke detector and everybody will be mad at you because they have to leave the halls. <laughs> yes. Super Baker West is air conditioned. There are thermostats here. Please note, you cannot put anything within 24 inches. Well, I've got a vent there. We do have this uh, in that area. But if you block this, it becomes very humid and stuff grows. We don't want that. Keep space. You go to the thermostat, we want your air running at all times. Well, or heat to keep air movement through the halls. Studebaker West has an interesting feature. This lovely bulkhead that runs through almost every single room. That prevents us from having 
stacked for, or loftable furniture. So you can actually get these up as bunk beds and or you stacked can use like risers. this. Risers. risers, just like you see here, but no lofting. So I'm sorry about that. Um, mattresses are twin extra long. I'm gonna hop on this one because it's easier and lower. With these, they have a firm and a soft side. My boss has asked that you try to keep your head away from your roommates as much as humanly possible. So, if Nina was over there on that bed, I would lay like this, her head would be over there. When you're sleeping, that's the most time you'll be around someone breathing while you're on campus in an extended period of time. We ask that you try to limit that if possible. With these bed risers here, and I know all bed risers change, you're looking at 33 inches underneath that, 41 and a half there. You can see that differs from 25 and a half there. Two extra long, as we mentioned. They're 81, I think. Nope, 85 and a half. Room dimensions, approximately 10 by 16 feet. Each room is going to have two beds, two desks, two wardrobes, two dresser units, two chairs, two trash cans. Okay, so I'm going to start measuring here in a second so we can get all the information that you guys need. What questions do you have so I can make sure that we get those answered while you're here? Um, I'm not going to show you room arrangements. Um, it doesn't really work out nicely because it's hard for me and Nina to move this furniture by ourselves. Uh, shelves are adjustable in that wardrobe. So you can see the gears are provided on the wardrobes. There are hanging pieces that you can use in those. Desks do have a pull-out keyboard spot, even though most people use a laptop nowadays. They do not come apart. Trash bags will be provided in the trash rooms. Students are responsible for bringing their own cleaning supplies. We do ask that they try to keep their room as clean as possible. We will be doing the restroom cleaning. What questions do we have before I start our wild measurement journey? Nothing right now at the moment. Cool. These drawers, 19 by 19. You, you can go and see the walkthrough for Studebaker East on the housing website. Yeah, we did one last year. That's cool. Five, 19, 19, five. These are all adjustable. You'll see the different pieces here. Do you want to bring a little screwdriver? Actually, no, I need it. This bar is also adjustable. It can be adjusted down and up. It's going to be 18 with the shelf. Total unit, I think these are six foot tall. 74 inches there. From the ceiling, it's going to vary by room, of course, but it's going to be about 20 inches up there. You have the bulkhead in place. It's going to be about 13. This unit overall, 45 across. And it is 23 and a half deep. Any questions about the wardrobe before we move on? Some, uh, let's see. I don't have a question about the wardrobe, but how many bed stackers can be used, safely used? Hmm. One. <laughs> probably, probably would want to just Okay, so one. this is pretty stable. But I put it more to, on there. It would be a unstable. Bad idea. So one, one's the answer to that question. We've already measured that. Let's go ahead and. Um, no, we don't have a printout of the dimensions, just just these videos. Um, yes, the, the students are, we, we have to close the kitchenettes and... 36? Yeah, sorry. By 24? By 24? Yes, kitchenettes are closed. No, we do not have blueprints of the rooms. Rooms vary in size. This is kind of your guesstimate of things right now. Um, wait till you get your room and you can see everything. Um, yes, there are two spaces for each student if you want to bring an Ethernet cord. You don't necessarily need an Ethernet cord, but if you want to use one... There's one Ethernet cord Oh, is here. it just one? Okay, just I one thought it was Ethernet two. Just one Ethernet cord. It'll be orange, and you can use a splitter or a switch. No oh, modems. 19 that way. 5 that way. 4 doors are the same. And it's 24 inches off the ground. And not that heavy to move. Yes, um, these beds are not bunkable because there's this. They're bunkable. Oh, wait. Uh, not in this hall, right? No, they're not bunkable. Yeah, because right. there's this big barrier. So. Yeah, and if you put them, if you stacked them, you'd actually have about this much room. 
to the top one, we don't allow that, so no. Um, let's see. There's, you can have one more person in the room, so three people, but you cannot have any overnight guests. Dry erase boards posted with a little pen board there. You do have some towel racks behind it. Yeah. You have a pen board in the back of the desk there. 42. By 24, there's a light underneath there. Desk itself is 48. By 27. Cubbies are 10 and a half. 21 by 12. Top up here has a lip of 3 inches. This thing is 45 across. Tall wide. 72. Outlets. Mostly along that back wall there. One in this corner. One, two down there, one there, one by the light switch. Another one, this is going to be underneath and that's out here. Bike lockers are available. You bring in a bicycle, you can find, you can actually pay, I think, 70 bucks for the academic year, keep it nice and dry. Contact our office, housingwsu.edu. We'll get you the information to sign that contract and we'll get you a key sent to your room. Questions? Any, or, any more questions? Can the beds be bunked in no. front of the window? Um, no, they cannot be bunked in this residence hall. It just, Doesn't it's work. not, the ceiling is not high enough in this residence hall. You can have risers. This is what you can have. But they cannot be put on top of each other. Any other questions? Any other questions? If not, I want to thank you guys for joining us. If you do have additional questions, please post them on the video. We'll try to answer them as soon as we can. Nina and I do monitor this all the time, so we're trying our hardest to get all the answers that we do have. Please check your Ball State email for any additional updates we have from the university, because things will keep changing, and you need to be up to date if possible. Um, this residence hall has blinds, and then there uh, oh no curtains. Blinds, curtains. I mean, yeah, these are curtains, and then there's one Ethernet port. Um, and you can use a splitter and yeah, or a switch, you know, what okay. Called. Yeah, sorry. um, all the halls are completely wireless, though. We have a secure network for so smart you, devices, so you wouldn't need it. So, most people don't need the Ethernet port, that's only if you want to hardwire it for heavy duty gaming. Um, command strips aren't, al aren't allowed, but we'll get back with you on what is, what is. allowed. Usually, we provide stuff at the front desk. I think that's happening this year. I don't want to tell you that without actually checking first. So, yeah, I'll get back on that information. Okay, if not, see you guys here in a few weeks.